Okay, I'm going to try and uh, put a wee video together for anybody who would be interested in looking to see how to hopefully change their own regulator. My regulator packed in on Saturday. It's only going to up that far and then it starts to make an awful lot of noise. It will not work. So uh, I'm going to attempt to fix this regulator myself. This is some of the tools I have with me here. Um, I do not think I will need anywhere near the half of this, but uh, in my experience, sometimes or whenever you start to do jobs yourself, uh, you find that you haven't got something with you, and uh, you go, why did I not bring that? So I've brought a few extra tools here just in case. I uh, got a regulator ordered there this morning, was delivered <coughs> from Eurospars, so they were pretty quick with that. Ordered it this morning at a quarter past eight in the morning, and uh, it arrived at the house for 12 o'clock. So I have never done this before, but uh, this is the second regulator this has got. And the last person who done it for me, uh, it didn't seem to be a great job because the window kept going up so far and then wanted to go down again. I brought it back to him and he told me it was something <coughs> excuse me, wrong with the button. Uh, but um, that was not the case. Now, that was uh, a good few years ago, but the window never worked properly. So I'm going to have a go at myself and I'm going to take a few videos here as I go along and see if it helps anybody if they want to try it. Okay, the first thing I'm going to take off is this here. There's screws in here behind here, so I need to peel this off. Bear in mind I'm only here on my own, so uh, I'll try and put this video together as best I can. And this will be a learning process for me and for you. Okay, what I did here is I got my fingers in between this and pulled this out here. This is a driver door, and uh, just beside the buttons here, I started to peel this off here, and it starts to pop off, very right long. So, now that's that bit off, it's like the shiny part of your door frame, or door trim, and uh, that's what we have left here. So I'll investigate this a bit more and then come back. Okay, I'm wearing a wee headlight here just to see where I am. So there's a screw just here, just beside where the buttons are. And I'm going to take out, and if we come on round, there's a screw in there. I'm going to take out, and it's also at the very bottom, uh, just up in here. I can see there's a screw there at the very bottom of the door. That's like there. Coming back from there, the very bottom of the door. I don't know if you can see it or not in the video, so I'm going to take him out. Okay, if my uh, bits are all in the right place, uh, the screws I've taken out here now at the moment, if that focuses, <coughs> is a T25. And uh, I have security T25s and I have uh, standard as well. So um, you only need a standard T25 to take out them first three screws. So to my knowledge, I don't see any more screws holding the door card on as such. So I am going to try now to pop it off. I'm going to start probably uh, down this corner here. Okay, <clears throat> starting where I showed you there prior to this. Um, I started down in, at the left-hand side, roughly where the speaker is, and started popping it off along the bottom. And then in around the middle, in around this area here, and uh, it came off quite easily, and then just popped it up off at the top. This is off this rail here, and it came off quite easy. So it's just sitting here now with the, looks to me like the door opener cable attached, and also some wires still attached here, so I'm going to have a look and see how I can disconnect these and what there is to it. Okay, like I said, I just popped this plug out, it came out quite easily. And uh, also, camera stays focused. Uh, let's see if I can brighten it up a bit. This one here, basically comes out there quite easily. You just uh, lift the purple bit up and she snaps out on her own. You can see things are starting to fall down here. So the only thing left then, so this purple one come out of there at the motor. I take it out some order, and what we have still connected now is our door catch, which is down in there. If you can see it, I don't know if the camera's going to mess about or not. So 
I want to pop out of. I think it should be simple enough. Just lift that plug out and turn it around pop off. Okay, so far so good. Basically this uh, little plastic piece here is sitting in its own housing. And you just pop that out forward like that. And then this hook here, you just unhook it basically. And that's that. Okay, so we have the door card off. I think that was going to be probably the easy bit. Uh, and then we have to start trying to figure out how we're going to get to the regulator. As you can see, there's no holes or anything here. Uh, speaking to one of my friends and he says the top of the door has to come off. Sounds like fun. Okay, we'll see what happens next. Okay, I'm looking at taking this motor off here because apparently it's connected to the, the window regulator and it needs to come off if I want to lift the, the window regulator out. So I need to disconnect the wires and basically what you do is these here are sitting pushed in and you just pop them forward, bring them forward out, pull them out. Same as this one, this in, and you bring it forward. And that should then allow the cable to come out, I think. I thought so. Uh, let me look at this again and get back. Yes, that does. <coughs> them rear clips do release the wires. I just took uh, two hands to give a bit more force on them to get them pulled out, but uh, they do. As you release this clip, in other words, like if you push that in, it would lock it back in again. If I can focus on that. So once you push the plug back in, push this down in again, and that will lock it in place. Okay, so that's the wires disconnected off the motor. So now I'm going to screw the motor off, and there's one, two, three. They see there, and they look like they may be the same size as that T25. If they're not, I'll let you know. Okay, that's what it looks like when the motor's taken away. The motor's in my hands. So, always keep an eye on where your screws come out of, where they're going back to. So that was the door card, and that's the motor. That's our motor over there. And basically how it's working, it's uh, going in on splines. The camera focus. All right. And it's just matching into the splines in here. They all look okay. I suppose in some cases there, them splines could go on you. Uh, I wasn't getting that sort of sound whenever my window stopped working or decided it wasn't going to work. I was getting like a, a crunching sound, like cables or something. So I'm going to investigate this further. I'm assuming I'm going to have to start maybe taking some screws out here, but uh, to get the top of the door off. Okay. There's a bolt in here to the side at, of the door at the front. If we'll stand back and see what I'm saying. You just uh, peel this back. It comes quite, back quite easily. I'm going to take that out. And I'm also going to take one out at this other side here. I'm going to take that out as well. And see what happens after that. The camera's terrible for focusing. Now the size of that nut is a T45. All right. Okay, so I've uh, removed the one that was in here, at the back here. And you can see where it is, but it's in behind this flap. And that light's not good. And I've already removed this one. Next of all, I'm going to move, take this one out here, just above the speaker. Also, there's one in here. I'm gonna take it out. And I don't see any other ones at this stage. These two look like they're for the lock. So I'll keep them in. This one and this one, I'm going to keep them in. But uh, there's that one and one in here. <clears throat> what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this screw out and this one, this one, and the bottom of the door, this one, and this one. So I think I'll try and screw the mirror off again with this. I think this nut here should take the mirror off. And that may be able to let the mirror stay behind if I unplug that plug there. 
Okay, I got the mirror screw out, and you can see why it was giving me a bit of bother. Quite a bit of rust on that, so that'll have to get a wee bit of something on before it goes back in. But it has released the mirror. And uh, let's pop that in there. Mirror screw in the middle. And you can see I have a dangling down here. So I'm assuming all I'll have to do is pop this wire holder here. Okay, uh, releasing the mirror was, I think, a better option to do. Uh, the mirror ends up being left here hanging. And uh, would leave it a whole lot easier to try and put the window back on. I have the window out now. All the bits and pieces here. Top of the door, I should say, on the window. So I have uh, my new regulator, which I'm going to have to try and work out how it goes together and pop it in here and hope everything comes together. I have noticed there that um, maybe what the issue is with mine, I can see like a, a frayed cable here, if this focuses on this, you can see the cable starting to bunch up there. Well, I take it that's what my problem is. So basically you just have to work out now how uh, this all goes into this. I'll have to take a few photographs in case I mess it up. Okay, I had a few people come back and forward there and I had to stop what I was doing. But what I'm going to do now is I've released these two screws here, two screws holding the glass in, and I'm taking them out because uh, if I need uh, this screw out, it's actually being covered by the glass, as you can see, so I need to lift the glass out. This doesn't look like it's going to be much of a problem, it just seems to be lifting, taking them two screws out and lifting the glass off. And then that'll leave me free to uh, see how this regulator is going to go. And then we'll take it from there. Okay, you can see I have the glass out. <clears throat> and you can see the way the window regulator is uh, set up within the door frame. Whenever you buy your regulator, uh, what I received in my pack was what you see down here. Now, it comes wrapped up, obviously, and it's a bit more twisted up than this here, so I've set it on the floor, and I've got it twisted into what looks like the same position as what this one's in. And the bars are slightly curved, slightly rounded, so you can't go wrong. It's best to get it set up as close as you can. As I said, my issue in mine, if you can see, the cable has frayed away here. And that's what jammed mine up. So I'll be uh, greasing the life out of this, maybe with copper grease before I assemble it again. Also, you notice here that there's these plastic covers to hold the window in place whenever you uh, put the glass back in. But in this kit, whenever it come, I only received one. This is probably a mistake. I've checked the box, I've checked all around the floor, and there's nothing else there. I don't have it. And I never opened the box until I was ready to use it, and I don't see anything on the bench to coincide with that. Probably waste the time in the video of that. But anyway, as you can see, I have this smaller sitting the same way it's going to be, so it's going to be a case of just unbolting this one from the door, and then lifting this one up in that uh, position, and setting it straight in and screwing it in. Well, that's what I think I'm going to do. The next step is to uh, remove these bolts here on the frame, and that should release the window regulator from the top of the door frame. This one to screw straight back on again. The bottom holes, this one and this one, is probably going to be screwed in whenever it gets slid back down into the door. Hopefully, that will not be too much of a challenge to do that. 
thinking ahead. As you can see, uh, taking them two bolts out has just completely released the regulator from the door frame. So I'm assuming now it's just a case of lifting this one up for all the white grey wearing and uh, popping this one on. These plastic clips were on here and they're quite easy to come off. Sorry, they go on there. They just pop on. This is the old one, so just simply lift off. I only received one of these in my pack. I do believe I should have received two, but uh, nevertheless, we'll go with what we've got. Okay, <clears throat> I've had to cut the video, bring the video to a stop yesterday because uh, the guys in the shop sent me a uh, passenger side regulator rather than door side. And uh, everything was all in the right boxes, right numbers and everything, but wrong item in the box. And I would never have knew that until I started to fit it and had the other one in my hand and seen that it was different. So we've got this part of regulator screwed on to the top of the door frame. I'm now going to just set her on the floor here because I've lost my trusty bench because it was a makeshift trailer at the time, so the trailer's away. So I'm just going to do this on the floor. So I'm going to try and fit the glass. It was whenever I tried to fit the glass yesterday. Uh, it was onto these two holes here. It was when I discovered that the, I had the wrong thing. So I'll try and get the glass in and I'll come back to the video again. Okay, you should get two of these plastic uh, window keeper type things in your kit. And they simply pop on here, one on there, and the other one on there, and then you set your glass onto the top of them, and then fold them up over. This here will fold over onto that, and then you screw them in. Okay, that seems to be the glass in place. It wasn't too bad to put in. Uh, I put in the right hand side first of all, that's uh, beside the mirror, and left it out at an angle. And then put the glass basically into each runner, which then allowed me to line this one up and put it in. So you can see how the plastic things fold over the glass. There's a wee click here, you can click it into place here, and then screw your screw on. So, in theory, that should be me ready to drop this back down into the door again, so I'll give that a go and see what happens. I think uh, the motor might give me a bit of bother to line up the flea holes. Just want to point one more thing out here. I believe this here, item here, could maybe uh, an adjuster for you. So if your window is out of alignment or such, if you don't, I think that's an adjuster because whenever that's in place, Wherever you have it adjusted, I'm just putting mine straight in, just hand tight. Your, one of your bolts, when this frame's in, actually goes right through this, and then if it adds in at the, this side here, on the finger, yeah, you see there. So this could be, as I said, some sort of adjuster, because when you have that loose, you can thread this out, and that would allow the window to be, to be through somewhere. So, just a... Another thing to look out for, if something isn't right, you can uh, bear that in mind. And that will be on the inside where the mirror is. So you'll be gaining access with that through this hole. I'm only assuming it might be a adjuster, I do not know. But there you are, just thought I'd mention that anyway. Okay, I have the window frame back on. And uh, ring sitting in place where it needs to be, apart from uh, having this in and all that. But before you do that, and before you screw anything else together, first thing we need to do is put the mirror back on. So you may have to lift the frame up slightly to get the mirror back on, because once you uh, start to screw this down tight, you'll not get your mirror on. So first of all, put your mirror back on now at this stage. You'll have to lift the door frame up again slightly. Uh, to uh, get the mirror back on as in how it wants to fit and get your clips all back on what was holding your wire that was showed at the start. 
What I also did, because the window was sitting up slightly, is uh, put my hand in behind this panel here that we removed and uh, push through uh, the motor mechanism of the regulator. So um, I'm going to, while the window is still up like this, I'm going to screw the motor on and then I'm going to try and uh, drop the window down because you'll find that the mechanism here can get in your way and stop you from dropping the window down. So I'm going to try that and hopefully that will work and if that works that's great. And then I'll drop the window on down and to get it seating in properly. And then what I'll do is I'll put uh, these two screws in that support the regulator also. Whenever you're lifting the window and you haven't lifted and you're putting it back in again, just make sure that your glass is in your runner still on both sides because at this stage the glass can fall out of the runners and uh, if that happens your window will not go up properly and also will not go down properly so just bear that in mind. Okay when reattaching the motor you can put your hand around the back here and support the back of the motor. When putting the motor on you may be lucky enough that your splines will go on properly but make sure that you are definitely on the splines. Don't assume that you are if you're not on the splines, what you can do is you can wire the motor up and bring your door card over and plug your door card in, take the motor off slightly and hit your button. You may need to do it once, you may need to do it twice, but it will work for you. you may, as I say, you may be lucky enough and to go straight on here and your regulator will fit up with your motor okay. But don't screw this on until you're 100% sure that you're on splines. If you're not on splines, this gets spongy and doesn't want to seed in properly, so you'll know you're not. If you are on it, it will go on and it will sit like this on its own before any screws are applied. So just bear that in mind, make sure you're on the splines. If you're not on the splines, wire the car up and turn the motor. With the motor off, not trying to get on here, just move the motor mover off, hit the button and then try it again. Okay, the motor's attached. The frame is now down seated again. No other screws are in at this stage. What you want to check is make sure that you've got all your rubber in place where it has to be. Your holes are lining up. None of the rubber on the outside of the window is folded in where it shouldn't be. Right along. Make sure your mirror is seating properly. All the way through. Because uh, once you start tightening the screws down and you find you've got a mistake made there, you're going to have to unscrew the window again and lift it out again. Now, there is a bit of, it might fall straight in for you or it might not, but what you want to try and do is get the front of the window in first, as in the left hand side, drop it in first of all, and then put the, the right hand side down in. What we're going to do next at this stage is, we're going to uh, put the screws in for the other part of the regulator, and um, hoping that our glass is all still in line in our runners down in here and also over there now it looks okay there but uh, when you're messing about with the glass and the, the window regulator the glass can move because these here are still loose so what you want to do is put these two screws in now and then what I'm going to do is going to put the, that screw in and that one and that one and when I get them in I think I'll test the window and see how it works have the motor on, it's screwed up tight, and it's plugged in. Alright, I have the, everything set in place and everything more or less tightened up, but what I did do beforehand was tighten these up, these two bottom ones definitely, and these three nuts here, tighten them up, and then I uh, placed in the other nuts that were in the back here, the one there and one here and then I have uh, this one back in and this one back in on the grommet so I have tried it and it seems to be working well the last time a person fitted this front window for me it was very lazy of itself so These have been nice and fast. Job done.
So all you need to do now is put your door card back on. Make sure you plug all your plugs again and back in again for your mirror. Hold on. Uh, plug your plugs back in again for your mirror. And uh, obviously for me testing I've had everything else in but just put your mirror back in and the rest of your FD plugs. And this one here of course. Whatever it is for. So uh, that's it, job done. Um, uh, there probably will be a wee bit of setting up on this. You might find you might want to do something to maybe fine tune it or whatever. As I said to you before about that uh, nut in here, I think if you take that out and you're left with an allen key, then I think that allows you to maybe flew the window in some way or another whenever the door is closed, as in the top of the door frame. And I'm not sure if there's any in there. But you imagine if you had one to do one, you'd have another do another. Okay, so all that's left for me is to put the door card back on. And uh, that's it, job done. I don't know, work out yourself how much you'll save if you do this yourself. Um, and I did it on my own, so you don't need two people. And uh, always bring extra tools. Okay, that's it, game over.